effect of adding a pole. Now we have seen the effect of adding a zero. The effect of adding a zero. If you add a pole, what will happen? What is the, what will happen to the order of the system? What will happen to the order of the system? Order will increase. If you add a pole, suppose I'm having, this is a nth order system. This is the nth order system. Nth order system. Nth order system. If I add one more pole at origin, S is added. One pole is added. What will happen? What is the order of the system? N plus one. So, if you add a pole to the system, order will be increased. Order will be increased. That is the first point. Second point, if you add, if you add pole at origin, it will remove the steady state error. It will remove steady state error. What is KP of a type 0 system? Limit S tends to 0, G of S. Am I correct or not? S tends to 0, G of S. This is type 0 system. This is type 0 system. If you put S equal to 0 for this, for this S equal to 0, all terms becomes 1 except this K. Therefore, it is equal to K. What is steady state error? Steady state error for a type 0 system for position error, steady state position error is 1 by 1 plus KP formula. 1 by 1 plus K. Am I correct or not? 1 by 1 plus K. For type 0 system, steady state error will be there. Steady state error will be there. Now let us add S yes to that system. Yes to that system. What happens? Kp equal to what? Kp equal to I added one yes to that system. Original system is G of S. I added one yes to the system. I added one pole to that system. What will happen? As S tends to zero, it becomes infinity. It becomes infinity. Because I added a one pole at origin, it becomes infinity. Therefore, Steady state error equal to 1 upon 1 plus infinity that is equal to 0. Steady state error becomes 0. <coughs> steady state error becomes 0. Can you give what up? The other number. The steady state error becomes zero. If you add a zero, sorry, if you add a pole, if you add a pole at the origin to the type zero system, the order is increased. At the same time, the position error becomes zero. No steady state error. No steady state error. If you add a pole at the origin, what is 1 by S? 1 by S is integrator. 1 by S is an integrator. So, I am having a system like this. R of S. I am having a system like this. The system is this. G of S. It is type 0 system. Type 0 system. Type 0 system. If I add an integrator here, integrator, you know, I have studied uh, um, linear integrated circuits. I studied what is integrator? Upam based integrator. Hmm? What is that? This is integrator. This is integrator. If you put one integrator here, if you put an integrator here, it is nothing but adding a one pole at origin. 1 by S, you are adding 1 by S. The transfer function of this is, uh, this integrator is 1 by S. You are putting this here. An uh, integrator is, uh, integrator is included here. Then uh, you added one S in the denominator. 
it removes steady state error it removes steady state error that is called the effect of adding a pole to the system that is the effect of adding a pole to the system <clears throat> if it is time zero system if it is type 0 system, if you add one yes at origin, steady state error is removed. But uh, you are adding a pole, you are adding a pole, one more pole to that system. What will happen? Suppose I am having one more pole, S plus P1 to the original system. Original system is S power N b s power n minus 1 plus etc. This is the original system in that I added one pole p1. This a pole is added. s equal to p1 is added. s equal to minus p1 is added. If I add s minus p1 system becomes unstable. Why? The pole is on the right hand side. The pole is on the right hand side. Here I added a left hand side pole only. No problem for stability. But uh, if I add the pole very close to J omega axis, what is the S plane? The S plane will be like this. The S plane. Sigma J omega. This is the S plane. The S plane, I am adding a pole. The added pole is here. Minus 1. Then what is the pole added? S plus 1 is added. It means the denominator I added S plus 1. Suppose I am adding S, my S plus 5 is added. That is minus 5. What is the difference between the two? If you add poles very close to J omega axis, means it will introduce oscillation. It will introduce oscillation. For that, uh, we have to understand our concept. A pole. I am having a second order system whose poles are in the left hand side, whether it is stable system or unstable system, because in the poles are in the left hand side. Huh? Left hand side, LHS, left hand side, stable system. I am having another system whose poles are on the right hand side, RHS, unstable system. This is unstable system. I am having third system whose poles are exactly on the J omega axis. Exactly on the J omega axis. What is the nature of the system? Oscillatory. Oscillatory system. If poles are exactly on the J omega axis, oscillatory system. Oscillators in the lab, uh, we did. Uh, uh, um, phase shift oscillator designed phase shift oscillator you will put 3 60 degree phase shift you will give for 180 degree the transistor will give 180 degree phase shift this 3 RC components RC, RC, R1 R1, R, C1 R2, C2, R3 C3 will give 60 degree, each will give 60 degree phase shift, that 180 degree phase shift, totally 360 degree phase shift, Verkusen criteria is satisfied. So you will design an oscillator like that. You designed, you got the exact components in the lab, you connected, but it won't oscillate. One of the resistor you will put as a part, do you remember, you did the lab, one of the components will you put the part, you will adjust the resistor. Then the oscilloscope, you can see the oscillation. You put the correct component only. Why it is not oscillating? The phase shift is not 360 degree. The phase shift is not 360 degree. That's why it is not oscillating. The phase shift is 360 degree means it will be exactly on the JMA axis. Why it is not 360 degree? Because the components having the tolerance. 10% tolerance. If you get 1K resistance, 
it may be it may be 990 or 1010 because 10% tolerance components you are using so it is not exactly 1k so you used three rc phase shift components each will give 60 degree may not be maybe 59 62 50 8 like that because of the tolerance in the components it is exactly not equal to the component suppose you are using 1k means it is not exactly 1k so if you put a part you can adjust the resistance value so that you are moving the poles suppose the poles are suppose the poles are here the poles are here while after giving connection you are adjusting the resistor so that you are moving to the j omega axis that is you are doing in the lab you are moving the poles exactly on the j omega axis so that it exhibits sustained oscillation that is called tuning you are adjusting the part to bring the poles exactly on the j omega axis the same in electronics control all are same name is different there it is called percussion criteria here we'll say in different criteria that's all so if you move the poles exactly on the j omega axis it will exhibit oscillation but if it is very close to j omega suddenly it will give oscillation no if it is very close to j omega axis oscillations will be more if you move away from j omega axis oscillation will be less that's why pole should be selected the compensatory pole should be selected little bit away from j omega axis that's why instead of selecting minus 1 it is better to select minus 5 because oscillations will be less that too if it is a complex pole if it is complex pole alone will exhibit oscillation complex pole to explain i am putting minus 1 minus 5 the complex pole alone will exhibit oscillation complex poles are responsible for oscillation if the poles are very close to j omega axis means oscillations will be more if it is away from j omega axis means oscillations will be less therefore we have the compensating pole must be away from j omega axis to reduce oscillation but if you want more oscillation means you can add very close to j omega axis so by compensating poles what and all we can do for a type zero system if you want reduce the steady state error you can add 1 by s we can add 1 by s that is pole at origin if you add steady state error will be removed but if you want to modify its dynamics by adding a pole very close to j omega axis you can introduce oscillations complex pole that to complex pole if we select pole away from j omega axis less oscillatory less oscillatory but anyhow complex pole will, will introduce oscillations poles is very close to j omega axis it will introduce more oscillations away from j omega axis it introduces less oscillations 